what is going on thank you for coming back to my channel and uh, my name is Rikesh Patel for those who don't know and I'm the creative director of We The Seeds Arts Agency which is this way there and yeah we're a public arts agency today is kind of unusual because I'm not really outside yeah I'm not outside I'm not doing any painting but I thought I'll take this time to share with you my top five window paintings that we as an agency have produced in the past um, and obviously it's my personal opinion you ask any member of the We The Seeds team they probably have their own personal opinion but let me know what you think in the comment section below as well one second I'm actually missing these okay cool I can see so yeah let's talk about my favorite five window paintings done by We The Seeds Arts Agency So in at number five is the London Florist. This is a very floral, flowery, nature style design with birds in the sky as well. So this piece was actually part of a public window art trail where members of the community could go around counting different things within the window itself to which that they would win a prize at the end of it. Now this is a great way to kind of engage the community, bring them together as part of a broader art trail, just get the community really engaging with the local area and with the businesses as well. So for this particular business they're a flower shop so we wanted to create something like really natural and organic for them which is why over here you can see how many birds can you count got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one hidden here birds that people can come and count and like i said they would win a prize for counting them but yeah i really think this window actually complements the overall aesthetic of the store they got these two little kind of like flower things on the side and like you know it just really demonstrates what they do especially with the birds you got these kind of like gold tints to them that we we thought was kind of like important because you know when you walk past it and then when it hits the light it will kind of shine as well and just make it make those birds stand out especially if those are the things that are being counted within you know part of the game so yeah they're kind of like infant versions of the flowers that you would find inside the shop itself and the flowers that they sell these flowers they'll be part of like a bouquet i think i think that's what it's called generally speaking i think as a piece like i think it just really stands out on the high street you be able to look at this piece from afar and then just instantly know okay cool they're a florist they sell flowers or there's something to do with nature so yeah that's the london florist in at number five you can see the full behind the scenes video of this whole art trail in the link in the description so yeah in at number four is definitely mcdonald's i just love this whole cartoony style and i feel like it really reflects the character of mcdonald's i don't know if you guys remember but back in the day mcdonald's used to have all these different characters and i think nowadays we just remember ronald mcdonald but there was loads of different characters there was the hamburglar there was the fry kids all these different characters and it's like i feel like nowadays that's been a bit lost but we thought we'll bring them back to life as part of this window art installation you know you got ronald mcdonald in this mini cooper and i'll tell you why he's in a mini cooper it's not just like a random painting just really love the cartoony block style the mini is still in that cartoony style but it's got these little kind of details on it where you can see the shadow and highlight layers and also on the wheels as well on the tires quite minimalistic as well it's you know there's not too much going on i think it really brings out that character that mcdonald's had within the 90s and the early 2000s that kind of bit of nostalgia where people can say like oh you know what i actually remember the characters from mcdonald's oh yeah mcdonald's had characters so maybe this was a type of thought process that was that was going on um as a brand as like from a branding perspective i think it kind of really worked for them because it allowed people to think about the past um and this was part of a public art campaign as well so this was part of a window art trail celebrating the queen's jubilee here in the uk and the reason why Ronald McDonald is actually in a Mini Cooper is because each window followed a different era of the Queen's reign. So for example, this window was the 1960s where the Mini Cooper, which is actually made in Britain, was made, like the first Mini Cooper was ever made. So that's why we decided to put, um, our design team put Ronald McDonald inside the Mini Cooper and all these little Mini Cooper wheels are following the design as well. At number three, we have an Easter themed piece for an estate agency so i think in the us they call it real estate agency but yeah here in the uk we call it estate agency but this was part of their own kind of like easter egg treasure hunt campaign to which that this was the final kind of branch that the community had to find within the treasure hunt we just wanted to keep it like really really simple follow that easter theme we got like the big bunny there we got the 
Easter eggs on the bottom. But I really like this because it's such a, a bright piece. And from across the high street, you'd actually think that maybe this is like a part of nature. Or like, why is this kind of like nature, natural kind of piece? This grass like growing in the middle of a window. It doesn't make sense. And I think even that, like from a street art perspective, is like, you know, why is this even here? And it gets people thinking, gets people talking and speaking positively. So yeah, I quite, quite like it. Um, the business was quite happy as well because it had this kind of like sales board with and we color match the same colors um to the sales board as well so help tie everything in together from a branding perspective got different kind of like easter eggs here and daffodils which is like a you know, symbol of of the easter period we thought this bee trail would be quite nice to put in there to like tie everything in together because if you kind of think about it like without this bee trail Oh, there's Daniela, our artist. <laughs> um, without this beach trail, it's like it might look quite flat and it might just look like just one kind of like big print on the bottom. And we didn't really want that. We wanted something that kind of stood out um, and kind of made an impact. You know, you see this from afar and be enticed to what it is. Got these beautiful butterflies. Let's see if we can get a close up. Yeah, got these beautiful butterflies. These got like gold tinting in there as well. Um, yeah, really proud of this one. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, some of the Easter eggs have this kind of like black outline on there. So the idea is like from a design perspective is that, let's see if I can quickly take a look at it. Oh, there's the butterfly. It's like, yeah, from a design, design perspective, it's like you'll be able to see the whole piece from afar. And then these Easter eggs on the bottom won't be as prominent as these Easter eggs up here with the butterfly kind of landing on it. And it's just a bit more like, you know, um, engaging. The sign is up there. We've got some beautiful typography put in. Um, from Daniela and yeah, I think they're really happy with it. This was like the logo the logo um, And I think what the greatest are oh, some funny pictures of me um, Yeah, what the greatest thing about this piece was that like, people could actually interact with it So we had like parents and children like coming up to take pictures within the Easter bunny And as you can see the community has just been really happy kind of embracing You know this particular business on the high street This was a fun local activity for the local children to do make them feel engaged and make them feel welcome as members of the community interacting with this particular business on the high street so in at number two i had to bring it to christmas and there was two christmas pieces that i had in mind but i just had to pick this one so i think for me it all just kind of works together as you can see that there's like this kind of like selfie opportunity so you share a selfie under the mistletoe it's like traditional at christmas to kiss under the mistletoe so if you have any loved ones and you'll buy a piece of window art like this then feel free to do some kisses and share them online we just thought it was a really great engaging kind of idea to like embed subtly you know what they do in a kind of minimalistic style we've got these kind of like lights at the top of the piece as well um and then obviously the center piece is this kind of like selfie opportunity you've got some snow on the ground as well um but i think our client really enjoyed this because it didn't take away from the inside of the window which is just filled with all this beautiful artwork it's like how how could they creates this high quality window or advertising on the outside which help them sell their products on the inside and i think this is where it really came in where just wanted to create something white impactful following the festive theme minimalistic but it still allowed people to embrace the whole culture the whole substance of the inside of the store as well so this was an art gallery they do like a framing service and they sell artwork as well and prints just the detail was crazy there's two layers of white on here and it's really just like showing the different types of art like subtly if that makes sense because like you know you got some frames that are like this modern minimalistic kind of frames but then you got this really vintage old school frames at the top as well and i think just like the old and new just kind of comes together and just just works and we had people coming and taking a photo under the mistletoe and it's good you know pr for them they can put it on their social media and it just really worked well for the business in terms of return on investment this kind of like modern typography handwritten type of style for the lettering so yeah people taking these pictures outside and i think it just really worked as a piece of window art advertising that showcased what the business was about and what they do and what their passions are in like a subtle way that empathize with the community but not really like in your face selling so yeah i think as a style of art like it's subtle but it gets people to remember like the business and exactly what what they sell as a product and service as well so in at number one is mind charity and they are a mental health charity here in the united kingdom i just really love this piece and i had to put it as number one even though in my mind I thought, okay, maybe I can pick just something else. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think this piece itself just really works and complements the shape of the window. Before we even talk about the design, we just think about this whole wacky shape of the window. We've got one small panel here on the left, got one big panel here on the right. 
and then two same size panels here in the middle and then one kind of panel here and it was like before we even started thinking about a design for this it's like how can you make a design that was like so kind of wacky and like working with all these sides and then and also enticing people about um this mental health information support line which is kind of like their whole like call to action um promotion kind of thing they wanted to get more people informed about this but then at the same time like you know showcasing their brand and getting customers through the door how how does that even work and i think this design as a piece of window art advertising works really well and it's that perfect balance between art and design which allows people to feel comfortable with shopping here and with the mind brand with the colors with just everything about it as an empathetical piece of street art it's like yeah okay it works really well with the offering the service everything let's go through it here's a few pictures from either side and because of that whole like front window glass trying to lead people back into these double doors and i think that's where the design came in and it it really worked um you know these hills kind of like kind of fall back into this area the sun is in the middle kind of radiating it's like okay please come through the middle yeah i just think it really works like these little trees are actually from their branding guidelines document so if you don't know what brand like branding guidelines document is it's like a, a document which explains a little bit more about the aesthetics of the brand so you know they have their logo and the logo is like you know has its own set of like guidelines and instructions and stuff like that and then they might have illustrations and characters as well so this is something that you could potentially use to inform your window art design as well so it's like okay cool we took some of these um, illustrations and we turned them into um, pieces of art that worked with the window illustration this kind of like mental health information and support line and call this number that was their whole kind of offering they wanted more people to call the number they want more people to you know pick up the phone and that that was their offering so we decided to put it on the window in their branding colors as well and it, we thought it would be a good idea to just put this whole strip in the branding colors because that in a sense like ties the whole piece together alongside the subtle kind of trees in the branding colors as well it's just like it just makes sense from a design perspective because you look at these different elements and then you automatically even maybe subconsciously start thinking about the brand itself um, and then everything else is kind of like this pretty picture but yeah there's actually one more thing i just wanted to show you quickly on this i'm going to zoom in um it's like these two little balloons and you can't really see it but there's people in these balloons it's like these balloons from our visual communication perspective it's like these balloons they're like kind of travelers you know they're people overlooking this beautiful piece of scenery this beautiful kind of um scene and on top of the balloons we've got stock donations and volunteers always welcome sign up for a gift aid today especially that this writing is in the balloons itself it's like that nice little subtle touch to say that okay cool like you know as someone who might be looking to offer leftover stuff at home as a stock donation or volunteer my own time like um you know they thought about me yeah i think overall it's a really nice piece i think it works from a design perspective and like the business was really happy to get this painted so this was part of a charity campaign that we ran for i think it's five charity shops and then offering free window art to like give back to the community um so that they could get their window painted for free and we checked, turned it into a campaign um where more people could kind of like you know find out more about these charities um through the art itself yeah anyway that's literally my top five windows that we've produced as an art agency based in london uk if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're a artist looking to start learning window painting aka transfer your creative skills and your beautiful creative talent into something that you can get paid for paint last go in the public realm and allow other people to see your art every day then don't forget to look in the description because there's a small gift there for you it's our free window painting trade secrets ebook which will describe the first initial secrets to window painting great aesthetic windows advertising christmas windows just like this so don't forget to download that it's completely for free and if you're a business looking to get your window painted don't forget to click the link in the description as well where we'll be able to give you a free quote and ideas to your unique piece of window art and lastly don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel my name is Rikesh Patel creative director of we the seeds arts agency based in London I had a great time sharing with you my top five thank you that is all for today